Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you know, I've been trying to do this kind of find the trends secondhand series for a while, but I've forgotten a bit about it and I think it's because the format has just not been working out for me. So as of this day, I'll simply be renaming this series to the trend series and then I'll be doing that a couple times throughout the year, especially around the time where the seasons change. Then as a rule, I'll be finding all of these trends that I share with you in sustainable options. So it could either be directly from a ethical brand or it could be something that is secondhand or something that's made in a sustainable material or something similar. So it will all be in a great mix, which I think is very achievable for most people. Now, first of all, this series is by no means meant to make you feel like you have to follow all of these trends. As many of you guys know, I'm pretty precautious when it comes to trends myself because trends, they tend to pass in the blink of an eye and um, many of the high street brands, they bring out new trends every single week, which makes these items very disposable. And that's what I don't like about many of the trends that we see in the fashion scene these days. I would always choose to stay true to my own style, no matter what. I wouldn't choose to follow some kind of trend that I don't feel like resembles my own true style. So I'd always choose those kind of trends that are trendy, but that still comes back decade after decade. So kind of long lasting trends at the same time, if that makes sense. I am very well aware that the reason why so many people love fashion, and especially when you look at the whole blogging scene, is because people enjoy being playful and having fun with their own style and their personality as well. And because I don't want to be like, you can't do that, I really want to respect that. I have some of those elements in my own style as well so i can kind of relate to it but at the same time i've evolved around a more lasting wardrobe and you know just chosen actively to stay away from most trends but like i said because i want to respect the fact that some people like these frequent replacements in their wardrobe i really want to show you and you know help you guys finding the most sustainable options out there to keep enjoying the trends so you can do this, you can have fun with trends without restricting yourself too much, but at the same time with as little impact on the environment as possible, I just don't think many people think about the ways they can actually do this. Ugh, I really hope I'm not preaching for the choir here, but if there's any new subscribers out there watching this video, I really just hope that it all makes sense. Anyway, today I will be sharing what kinds of trends and looks and items I'm kind of lusting for for the coming summer season and things that I'm also considering adding to my summer capsule wardrobe. Then of course, when we're at the end of May, I hope, depending on the weather, that I will be sharing my visual idea for my summer capsule like I always do. And then the part two, which will be a lookbook with all the summer looks that I'm gonna be dressed in. Uh, so yeah, enough with the blabbering, let's get straight into the video. In general, what I'm lusting for this coming summer is kind of going back to basics. So I'm all about this very neutral color palette and mixing very basic items with something in natural materials and like I said in this very natural color palette. I feel like the neutral color palette is very suitable for the entire year actually and it's something that, I, that I've always loved but especially this summer I feel like kind of getting back to that point. So in a way we're talking one of those lasting trends right here because even though it seems to be all the rage this year with all these natural materials like linen and straw and things like that. It's something we see return every single summer almost. So I feel like this is kind of a trend that you shouldn't be too afraid of investing in because you'd probably still love it next year. So the first trend that I want to share with you is something that's been all the rage both last summer, but especially this coming summer as well, which is the espadrilles. And it's especially those espadrilles that have a bit of a heel and then also a lace-up detail. I don't know if I'd ever go there myself because I'm more of a flat shoe kind of girl so I'm afraid that I'd only be reaching for these if I had some kind of special event to go to. I do have a couple of summer parties and weddings to go to but I feel like I already have 
a bunch of shoes that I'd rather use. Um, but again, I really find that these espadrilles are very cute and very wearable as well. And I do think that they look very pretty with a rather basic summer outfit like a plain white t-shirt or a linen shirt and then maybe a pair of cropped culottes and then a pair of these espadrilles. I feel like that's just super cute. Obviously, they also look very nice together with a summer dress. So I have found a couple of options for you guys. They're all found on West Year Collective, which means they are pre-loved or secondhand to use a more normal word. And in general, I think it's a great place to look at West Year Collective if you're on the hunt for these more super trendy items. They have a lot of espadrilles in there in many different sizes and colors. So if you are on the hunt for a more sustainable option to follow this trend, then you should definitely check out West Year Collective. So moving on to the straw bag or the wicker bag, these have been very popular ever since last summer and they're just still all the rage this season. Again, we're playing with these natural materials and colors, which I just love with these exactly what I'm wearing today, actually something really basic and monochrome. Everything just gets softened up a bit by something in a natural material or a natural color. Some of these bags are rather unpractical. So I'd definitely be going for one that is practical. So I'd be going for a straw bag in kind of a shopper bag size because that would be very suitable for a day at the beach. If you do have a natural colored cotton bag, just a regular shopping net, you could kind of use this to substitute for that trend as well. I do have one from last year actually with a printed pineapple on it, so it's very summery and I think I'd probably just be going for that net instead of investing in a real straw bag. So that's something you could also think about if you already have something in your wardrobe that could kind of substitute for that and kind of give the same look so you don't have to actually go out and invest in a trend that you're not sure you'll be loving as much next year. Again, I found a couple of straw bags on West Year Collective, but ASOS Marketplace is definitely also a great place to look, especially if you want something for a bit of a more affordable price. So if you follow me over on Instagram or if you saw my do-it-yourself from old jeans to denim skirt video, you probably seen me in these light blue denim dungarees. And I have just been loving denim dungarees for, I mean, for a long time, but this summer I am just so ready to make them part of my everyday wardrobe. So the pair that I've already gone out and bought is from ASOS Marketplace. And in general, ASOS Marketplace is my favorite place to buy vintage denim. Not only like no-name denim, but also Levi's denim. They have a lot of great vintage Levi's on ASOS Marketplace. I'm gonna be wearing my dungarees on off-duty days or during weekends, so I'm not gonna be wearing them to the office because I feel like they're a bit too casual for that, but any other occasion, I'll definitely wear them. And I'll be pairing them with like a basic t-shirt or a striped t-shirt or maybe even a feminine top to kind of soften everything up a bit and to kind of create a contrast. I think that's just, oh, I am loving that look this year. So yeah, like I said, ASOS Marketplace is a perfect place to find denim in general, but especially also dungarees. So I have found a couple of dungarees for you that are similar to the ones that I've bought. And um, yeah, along with everything else, I will link them down below. So moving on, linen is one of the most perfect materials to go for during summertime because linen is very breathable, it's very durable, and it's just very absorbent as well. So it's just perfect for those very hot summer days. So even though I feel like linen is just everywhere this season, I think it's safe to say that it's one of those more long lasting trends as well. It's not really a trend, I would even say. I think it's a very basic kind of material to go for each and every summer. So it is something that you can invest in and then use for years to come. 
Um, Everlane just recently launched a range of linen shirts and if I know Everlane they're probably gonna be making more in this amazing fabric. But then there's also the brand called Power of My People that you guys may remember from my spring capsule video. I've made a collaboration with them and I still have that collaboration going on. So I was gifted a shirt, one of their amazing linen shirts. Um, which I've just been loving already. I also used it in my six ways to wear video recently. Um, but I have a discount code for you on 20% if you are interested in investing in one of their responsibly made linen shirt. No pressure, I'm just putting it out there. So moving on to the last trend or maybe just an item that I'm really lusting for this coming summer season is the very feminine ruffle or crochet kind of tops. I love these very light cotton tops with very feminine details like exactly crochet details or ruffles or something similar, especially with light wash denims or those vintage dungarees that I've already gone out and bought. I just think that tops like these are very French chic and you guys know that I'm all about that still. And uh, I've turned to one of my favorite sustainable brands to, to kind of look through their collection and People Tree actually have a couple of these tops that fit perfectly within this category. And again, I'd say that you can use these tops for many seasons to come. I'd even say that you can use them for special occasions. If, you're, if you get tired of them in your everyday wardrobe, you can always move them to your occasion wear wardrobe instead. I've also found a few secondhand ones on ASOS Marketplace because you're almost guaranteed that with this kind of top you'll be lucky to find one in a secondhand option because it's something that we see all throughout the year and something that comes back season after season. I do recall that I have a vintage cotton shirt stored away from last summer and I actually think that I will be cutting out the sleeves because it's long sleeved right now um, and it has these crochet details down the placket at the front so it actually fits very well into this category um, but like I said I think I'll be cutting out the sleeves and then making it short sleeve instead because I feel like short sleeve shirts are just perfect this summer. I'll probably do that instead of going out and purchasing a new one and then I'll have something that falls into this category and then I can recreate all of these looks that I love so much this season. So there you have it guys that was five trends that you can pick and choose between and maybe make part of your wardrobe this coming summer season. If you'd like to get more summer inspiration, then don't forget to follow me on my Pinterest. I'll leave a link for my profile down below. I've already gathered up so many great summer looks, so that's definitely the place to go if you are looking forward to summer as much as I am. Also, stay tuned for my summer capsule series that I'll be making hopefully by the end of May, depending on the weather. So I'll be making my part one, which is always my visual idea, and then my part two which is kind of more a lookbook so stay tuned for that one so thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you all in the next one bye guys